Now it looks a bit ugly at the moment because we haven't got any signals in and we haven't got any other fixtures and stuff. There's no depots. Are we going to need a depot? Oh my goodness, right, there's so much to do. Hello there, Master Hellish here and welcome to my Season 10 Open TTD Let's Play. Uh, last time was a live stream and in that live stream we got Hellish City nearly up to 2,000 in population. Soon, once we get to 2,000, we'll need passengers, but that's not a problem, because by now we have two large passenger and mail networks, uh, one to the north and one to the south of the city, going to our two big cities, which are now named after viewer plus subscribers. So over here, we've got Elon Lip Town, uh, we've got it penned in, we've got it growing nicely, we've got things transferring, and a whacking great big station. And over on this side, we've got Bean Town, again, all penned in we've got lots of um uh, buses transferring to the station we've got lots of passengers and mail there um both of those towns named after viewer plus subscribers and bean town was actually a brand new viewer plus subscriber in that live stream so it just goes to show that if you're a viewer plus subscriber you can you can get your name in the game relatively easily um there is a good chance it can happen so we now have uh two big towns it's two big cities with big uh tracks big trains going into big stations. So the passengers and mail all sorted out. Food was good. We added coal. Uh, we've got this uh, coke oven here. We've got this coal line that we've got going up through. And we've done a branch line off to our first coal uh, mine to start getting things transported there. So that's all very good. And we've also got three million pounds in the bank account. So because we've got a lot of money in the bank account now and the city has grown well and we've satisfied most of those criteria really nicely, we're actually going to be leaving Hellish City today for a while. We'll head back over to the centre of the map. It's a big map. But we are going to be moving away from the City Builder Challenge for an episode. And you'll find that we're going to be dipping and moving and changing uh, throughout the series. And we're going to be going to probably one of the most anticipated uh, challenges now uh, city build challenge is always fun because it's nice to build a city see how big you can get it no, no train zone is going to be interesting because it's just a bit different for me we do so many trains it'll be nice to play around with other stuff um, and the vehicle challenge is it, you get some crazy cool networks out of the vehicle challenge but the preservation lands is an interesting one because I think it's something that people are very excited about and that's what we're going to be doing, as the title of the video suggests. So in the preservation lands, we're not allowed to alter land. Uh, we're not allowed to delete uh, bu buildings and roads that towns have placed uh, or cities. And what you've got to do is complete some sort of goal. The challenge is to complete a goal without doing those things, without deleting land and stuff. So we can do whatever we want in here as long as we stick to the rules and that's our challenge now the goal that i'm decided i'm going to do is i'm going to try and build a relatively realistically looking and feeling rail network so i'm going to build stations that feel and look realistic i'm going to try and get the layouts looking good we're going to have rail yards to send trains to rather than just going like doing a 90 degree turn and going straight into a depot that's one long so we're going to try and do that it's been a very long time since i've tried to make anything look realistic in open ttd i usually just play the game as a game um so let's see let's see well first thing we're going to do is decide where in the preservation lands we're going to start and I'm not limiting myself to just trains in the preservation lands, but that's what I want to focus on. So this, I mean, look, you can't see it due to all the town names, so we'll turn the town names off. So this is where we've got our hellish city, and it's growing out, getting bigger. We're going to be connecting up various different bits of land. It's going to be good. Uh, vehicle challenge down there. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. Now, I don't want to just completely avoid hilly areas i think that's part of the challenge is to to work with towns in hilly areas but at the same time i don't want to just like start on the biggest hill in the universe so i kind of feel like i want to start somewhere where there's a little bit of both and a little bit of flat a little bit of hill and actually the middle round here looks really good because we've got 
flat land, quite a good bit of flat round land around here, quite a good section of it. Zoom in a little. Uh, but then here we've got a few medium hills, and next to us we've got some larger hills, including a pretty massive one here. So, I think this would be a good area to start. There you go, look. Um, so let's connect up a couple of cities and just naturally build a bit of a network. It might mean that we need to change it over time. Um, so let's see. Now, it is only cities we can um, build, but it doesn't mean that we can't connect stations to things that aren't cities. So let's start with two big cities getting connected shall we that seems like a good idea now this one over here heartbridge city is on the edge of a of a hill there's kind of a, a little slab of land here could get a relatively big station in there i mean if we go into what i call building mode it's not building mode it's just the transparency settings toggled um, you, could you get a four track seven length in there? I think you could. You could get a relatively big train station in there. Um, and it would just be a big fat massive terminus, which you do get. So I think that's, that would be okay. It does feel like it would be natural. I don't see anything wrong with a big terminus. I mean, I would want to make it look nice, um, and I would want to have it having terminating tiles as well. So, if we go with the British station set, we should we start? Yeah, let's do it. Flatland required. Well, we're not allowed that. Let's move it one out. There we go. So already, I'm not allowed to do what I, what I want to do. Let's get some buffer stops on that. Ah, oh, I see. I can't build a buffer stop here, and I, I won't be able to build it up. I could put buffer stops here, but not there. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think there's anything I could really do about that. I mean, I'm allowed to delete my own track, and I'm allowed to delete my own stations. I think that might be the yeah, but I don't want to leave it. Ah, oh, this is this is frustrating. This is cool. Uh, okay, we'll come come back to that. We'll come back to that. We're going over here. Uh, now, I think what I'll do is I'll put a station between these two towns here. That seems like a good idea, and we'll build an interestingly different one somehow. So, in here, we'll we'll start with. I mean, how much space have I got to work with? I've got five in width. And what I wanted is I wanted a through line and then a platform on one side. Can I put a platform on just one side? I can't, can I? Shelters, outer... I just want to shelter on the outer. Yeah, because it still puts a platform in the middle. There's a shelter in the middle on that one. I mean, that is a nice sheltered platform. Um, yeah. I think that's as close as going to be to getting what I wanted. Let's have a look at the shelter on the outer again. Yeah, okay, we're going to go with shelters on the inner. So we'll make we'll make a station. We'll, I don't think the trains are going to be as long for this area. That's four. I think if we do five length trains, that's going to be nice. And then, I guess... Mm, we're going to want to make this look really good. We're going to need some end tiles. We're definitely going to need a bridge. So we'll put a, a row of bridges. And the weird thing is, is we're going to need a row of bridges here. 
to carry that over to the other side. Because uh, I want to have another set of platforms here as well. Mm. And I tell you what, that last one at the end there, I was thinking I'm maybe making it Terminus Station. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. No, no. I'll tell you what we'll do. Ooh, I can delete part of it, can't I? So if we do outer, so you can place it like this. Right, I know what I'm doing now. I'm going to change... Yeah, I'm going to swap them over and change this one to an outer. Change this one to an inner. It's going to be good, it's going to be good. I think. And then what I'll do is I'll get the remove tile. And just remove these ones like this. And that's going to give me the station that I wanted. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a bit on that side, a bit on this. So we've got one platform there. We can go straight through the middle. <sighs> just to, It's just unfortunate that there's no way of spanning those bridges over the top that I can think of. But we can decorate with the facilities. So this is just bare platform. So let's start with some bare platform down here. There we go. Just extend that out. Then we've got uh, benches, which we've got plenty of. Benches and plants. I think we need a sign. Definitely need signs. Let people know what station they are getting to. And then I think that might be the end. So we can put... Uh, station 2 spread. How, how long have I made this station? I know the, what, the max length in this game that I've done is 12, right? I did not mean to make that. I want the auto tool, please. Thank you. Okay, so I've already made it 12. Okay. In that case, let's just replace the ends of the platforms. Uh, there we go. You know what? This little bit of wall here with the station signs doesn't really look the best. But I think it'll look okay if we add, like, yeah, we'll add some bits in there. So ben that's benches and plants, apparently. Whoa, hello. There we, there we go. Right. So we've got a a strange-ish uh, station here, which could be a real-life station. We've got a nice bit of flat land here. What's this? This is a cool building. It's an electric arc furnace. Okay, so our railway line is going to have to come out, and it's going to have to bend gently away from the electric arc furnace, wherever it's going to go. We'll give it a little bit of a gap, and then we'll... I mean, obviously, I can't do big, nice curves. There's a, I can only turn a, uh, a minimum of 45 degrees. So I did say I was thinking about having one of these as, as a terminus, but I've changed my mind. Because what I'll do is that these can be the big, fast through stations, and we'll have a terminus down here. Um, and it can be shorter, I guess? For the smaller trains? I guess we'll maybe have it on this side. Uh, the only problem is it can't be more spread out. So, we need buffer stops here and here. And then edge pieces there and there. I would have... I think I'd have liked to have made those platforms a little bit longer. Now... Uh, how are we going to incorporate the rest of this without... Let's just put some basic platform in first. Bare platform. Okay, that works alright. I think maybe the, the shed part from this should be moved. And maybe, like, we get, get rid of that. Let's just put that back to basic platform. And move, where's the outer? So if we put the sheddy bit all the way down this, ooh. Oh, it, this can be one 
So it's round. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so it can be one or two. I like I like that. We'll we'll have that all the way down there. And then we'll use it down on this side as well. So but I only want half of it. So we'll deliberately do that. We'll have a gap, fix that one, and then we'll go back to one and remove these. There we go. Oh, that is a that is a cool station, because then we've got the middle arc here. We've got a gap for people to come through. Nice, like that. Okay, so we've got to have these tracks here join up with those ones. So I'm going to give us a little bit of length of track, just because I think that seems right. And then maybe we just do this and nothing else. Obviously, we've got to get signals and stuff in here. And then this one, oh, I don't know. Do I bring it out a little bit more? I think this one will have it come in shorter and only have it connect to that line. So we're, we're kind of limiting what platforms can be used for what. And then these ones, we get them to come out further, like a whole other section of signal blocks. And then get them to come in. Oh, I like this. This is going to be interesting. Now, it looks a bit ugly at the moment because we haven't got any signals in and we haven't got any other fixtures and stuff. There's no depots. Are we going to need a depot? Oh, my goodness. Right, there's so much to do. There's, this is going to be a bit of a longer-term project, I think. So this station, I'm really happy with its progress. This one, not so much. <laughs> Is there a way I can get that on there? I don't think there is. Okay, in that pla in that case, we're going to have to get rid of a platform. I'm not happy with the end of the platform not having a buffer stop on it like that. So what we'll do is we will remove that platform. And because that looks horrendous, we'll have a shelter on the outer all down one side here. Like that. Is that going to be good? Nah, I feel like it should have been the other way. Uh, how can I get shelters just on the inside without breaking absolutely everything? I think... If I do that, and then, there we go. It's interesting, there's certain combinations you can only make when you mess around with the tracks like that. But there we go, we've got a shelter there, we can remove this bit of track, that's allowed, that's fine. So we've basically got a, a terminus with uh, the, the, the roof and then a side extra one. I like that. No more decoration on that just yet. End of the platforms though, actually. We do need some platform ends on this. So let's do that. There we go. Now for the for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to come out straight to begin with. And then here we're going to come out straight a little. And I'm just going to do that. I think that should be fine. This can be a double slip switch. If you don't know what one of those is, I think it's a real life thing. Let's have a look. Um, well, they certainly sell them for model railways. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, okay, so now I want to connect this line up with that line. And I'm thinking what I'll do is we'll bring it out a little way. And we need to plan this carefully because we don't want to go over too many rivers or hit any hills. Yeah, okay. I think if we make it so that the railway line runs along the side of this river, here, we'll go over this river. That gives us a nice clear run up this way. We'll come down the hillside straight and then start coming out. 
Uh, that's a nice good section of track there. So I think we will start turning here. Big turns. There we go. Oh, I have done that slightly wrong. That's not a problem. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Nice. Um, and then we've got to have a bridge. And I, th I've actually chosen a really bad place to come over this because the. I could, if I, if I come one more this way. I'll show you why. Because if I'm going to be building a bridge for this line, I'd have to make a bridge seven in length. Whereas doing it here, the maximum is four, which is so much better. So we'll do a four one here. And we'll remove this line. And we will just move it over by one. There we go. Grass will grow back. We, we're, not, we're not worried about preserving grass. So we've got a nice little station with a big, long, sweeping corner there. And then we've managed to fix this station. I'm quite happy with that now. I'm quite happy with that. And we're just going to go down the natural land slope here. Let the natural land slope... Uh, just de gently go down the hills bit by bit. And to be honest, these hills are quite nice in terms of being able to go down bit by bit. Now we're going to need more depots and stuff. There is no two ways about it. I think we'll come up between these two industries. It seems to make sense. Right in the middle about there. There we go. We haven't even spent... We've only just got into the 3 million. We've got plenty of money. This is what happens when you build railway lines and train stations in 1938. They don't cost you a massive amount of money. Okay, I made that bit slightly too long. Oops. Where did I... I put my cursor on the bridge. Connect and fix. There we go. So we've got, we've got a nice, relatively straight line... Um, we've got no crossovers and things like that. We do need a depot or a shunting yard of some description. Not really sure how I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I mean, I could put one sort of here on the hillside that comes in and round. The challenge with that is then how you get a train to turn in that way. I mean, suppose the train would have to come up, start turning, and then go into the yard. And then you could have another track that comes down like this, that goes into the yard. And then the yard... Oh my goodness. Actually, that's a nice idea. I've just had a bit of an idea. How long are our trains? I have no idea how long the trains are. At the moment, the I think our maximum length there is 8. So maybe we can work with that. That's a bit too big for that area. Need more space. I was hoping of having a loop that comes round. Maybe I should just have a load of depots. And consider it just my first attempt. I'll, I'll avoid using the bomb tool, even though I'm not technically bombing anything that I'm not allowed to bomb. We'll, we will just remove the track. Um, how, how big is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a bit short. Hmm. Have I got other options? This bit looks better, potentially. Okay, let's give let's give that a go. So if we get a train line, a uh, piece of track that comes off here like that, comes out here, connects up there. I guess. How long is that? Up to there. That's seven. It's not really long enough. 
But we could just leave that with a waypoint. Yeah. And then that, that's length 9. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll, we'll have a few in there like that. Um, can I put these on the top of track? I can't. Okay. So I'm trying... If, if, if I haven't made it clear, I'm trying to make a rail yard. And I need... I want length 8 of depots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can't drag depots, but never mind. There we go. So let's put a waypoint in here. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's got a, um, a, a label. Oh, no, actually, we can use that label. Yeah, that label's good. I, I just move it. Just need to move it. Uh, waypoint. Let's put it here. At the end. Oh, I don't know where to put the waypoint now. Ah, I'll tell you what. We'll put it here. And we will call this... Um, we'll change it to... Heart Bridge Depot. There we go. Now, our trains will need to service at points. I, I'm not sure that's the best sort of realistic depot. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. I'll make it better. If anybody's got any suggestions, uh, either pop a comment on the video or come over to the Discord and, and, and send a screenshot of something. I think that's a starting point. Um, I feel like we need a depot not far from this station. Uh, this area here would be good for it, but I... I don't know how we'd get trains to go into it. Um, I guess they could come up this line and go into the depot that way. But then there'd be no way for them to get back up north again. Oh, okay. I I think this is something we're going to have to work out as time goes on. As time goes on, we're going to have to work it out. And for these signals, let's see. Okay, let's do the signals... As if I was just thinking I needed signals to begin with. Uh, okay, so for going into uh, this sort of station, if we've got an up line and a down line, and this up line was only this one, then you would need one signal going in there that way. That'd be fine, I think. Would you need them on the end of the platforms as well? Probably not. Probably not. And then you'd need one signal coming in this way. Uh, you'd also need signals on the end of these two platforms. Like that. But because that is also the end and that is also the end, we need path signals that you can go in the back of. This one is only an up. You can't come back down and out. That one's a through line only. If you want to go back in and then back out again, you have to use the other platform. And then over here, you should have signals before slipping in. Then it needs to be able to come out again as well. So I guess we put a slip here. So you go in there and then back out. Although you'd need to slip one way and then slip back the other, potentially, to get into the other platform. Now normally, I'd just do this. No, not that. This. I'm not going to. That's, that doesn't feel very realistic. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a slip going that way, and we'll have a slip going that way. It's a terminus station, so we don't need signals there at the station. I think we're all good. Uh, I think that does it. Minimalist. <laughs> okay, folks. It's been a bit of a different episode today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've not done a lot, a lot. Um, but I think we're starting to get the hang of building in a different style. Thinking about things in a different way. 
it's going to be cool to make these trains visit the depot properly and come into these stations and, and watch how they move around on the network. Uh, I'm not going to have signals placed every two tiles uh, like we are in the other areas. I think that doesn't look great. We're not going to be able to make massive amount of money here, but I think it's going to look nice. And what I want to achieve is a nice flowing network. And we're probably going to use some timetables in the future as well to make things move and nicely and regularly uh, and all that sort of stuff. So really looking forward to that. Um, so if you're a bit disappointed with the amount of progress in the game or you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. But if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, maybe share it with people, pop a comment in and I'll come over to the Discord and have a chat about it. Uh, this is new, it's interesting for me, I'm enjoying it, I hope you are too. I'll see you soon for the next live stream on Tuesday, but from me for now, thanks for watching, take care, and goodbye.